Welcome to my new course Zero to Hero with real-time LWC projects. This course will give you a great confidence in LWC by building seven real-time projects and also increase your chances of getting a job by showcasing these projects on LinkedIn or highlighting them on your resume. So let's go and see our seven projects now. So the first project is BMI Calculator app. BMI stands for Body Mass Index Calculator. So let's look at this project now. So this is our first project in which we have a cool background and then a calculator at the center. This is a form where we are entering our height. So let me enter my height. Then let me enter my weight in kg. And on click of calculate based on a logic, it gives us a result. Whether I'm an underweight, overweight, or healthy or obese. So let's click on calculate and let's see what it gives. So it's according to my details, I'm a healthy person. So that's our first project that we're gonna build. So let's go and see the second project. So the second project is an alarm clock and this alarm clock works with the ringtone as well. So let's go and see this project. So that's our alarm clock in which we have an alarm icon. Then we have a current time. Then we have three options to select hour, minute, and your AM, PM. So if I select any number, then only the set alarm will be enabled once we select all three values. So let's select five o'clock and minutes. I can select one minute and I can select PM. As soon as I select, you see this button become enabled. And once I hit set alarm, it will Set the alarm and the button text will change to clear alarm so that you can stop the alarm. Once it met this criteria, the ringtone will come out of this app. So that's our second app. Let's move on to the third app. So the third app is a currency converter app and that gives you the conversion of the currency. So let's look at this app. So that's our third app uh, which convert the currency in real time. So we are using uh, API behind the scene that do the conversion. So by default, I have set uh, the value from USD to AUD. So if I want to know how much like 10 USD in AUD, that is Australian dollar from US dollar. So 10 US dollars equivalent to 14.53 AUD. So it is using a real time API. Similarly, you can change the currency here. So in that drop down, we have couple of other currencies based on that you can play around with it so that's our third app let's go and look at our fourth app so the fourth app is our weather app so that's another cool app that you can use in day-to-day -day life and here we have to enter the city name so i'll enter delhi and i hit search so it will call an api a weather api that returns us some details so we, it's showing it's a seven degree celsius it's a fog there in delhi india it feels like a five degree temperature and the humidity is 93 percent similarly you can type any other city so if you type london it will immediately say it's okay broken clouds 11 degrees similarly you can type any city name and it will return the data in real time through an api so that's our another app let's move on to our fifth app that's the employee survey app this is not a lwc app but it's a survey and it's a good to have skill so let's look at our survey app so we have used a sales for survey and the survey we have built around the employee survey so here you can add your company logo here you can put some heading some description about the survey and a cool image and on click of next you can configure couple of questions so we have configured all the questions related to the employees like the first question is how long are you working with your current company so you can select one to six months or 13 to 24 months similarly the second question how focused are you on your task while at work so that's a range so we have used different different questions and different way of capturing the information and once the user submit this survey then you can view uh, or analyze the data to get some meaning out of your survey so here you can see that's a rating based survey so you can select the star similarly there are many questions so that's our another app 
let's look at our sixth app that is a note taking app and very handy app if you uh, go for a grocery store you want to note down something you can use your own app going forward let's look at this app so that's the note taking app uh, in which i already have created one record and it's uh, we have created a proper data model for this app in the salesforce and we are using a object custom object called notes where we are storing this information here i already have one record but you can add another record uh, by clicking on add new notes so here you can give the heading and you can add, uh, add some points here that you want to save or remember so we can say testing website and it is a rich text so you can bold it italic it align the text and everything so once i hit add it will create another record in the salesforce and this app is also accessible to a guest user but this is a good learning for yourself and here you have an option to edit this app you see i just stored it it saved it testing website and here if you want to change something you can add the text so i just add something simply uh, hello and hit on update so once it update it stored the uh, update the same record and it refreshed the card so you can see the card has the text now hello similarly we have an option to delete as well so once you click on delete you have a pop-up are you sure you want to delete okay and cancel if i hit okay it will delete the record if i cancel it will not delete the record so it in this app you will learn create read update delete all the operations and let's look at our final app that's the biggest app that's the portfolio app so this is our portfolio app in which you have your own photo your name your role your company name your company location then you can add your social media links or your blog links and trailhead links and you can configure it all from the experience bundle then we have informations like your personal information email mobile number addresses and there is a button on click of which you can download your resume as well so once you hit on this it will download the resume you can see on the bottom it downloaded the resume similarly we are showcasing some key information and that will be helpful for the recruiter as well like what's your trailhead rank and what are what all your badges points trails then your summary about your job then we have a second tab that is personal projects in personal projects we are highlighting all the product uh, projects that you have built and on click of that it will redirect you to the same app so if i click on pmi calculator app it will open a new tab with that particular app and that i already showcased just now so i'll go back to my portfolio app and here then we have another tab called work experience so this work experience we are showcasing through a timeline so you, here you have a heading then on the right hand side your dates your company name location and your roles and responsibility similarly you can we are showcasing the skills in the another tab skills is categorized into three main section technical skills tools and softwares methodologies soft skills similarly we have education and education we are using data table so by which we can explore all type of standard components so we already seen the tabs now we are seeing the data tables and then in certifications we have three categories uh, two categories one is salesforce certification and the other certification so with salesforce certification we are showcasing the salesforce certified logo and with other we are using a generic logo then we have a other tab in which you can add as many things you want so i have edit three section one is awards so if you have won any award in your previous project or in your school or colleges you can add it here then in trailhead most of the people love to do the super badge and that's a very good way of learning so you can highlight those super badges here and if you know any languages like german french english hindi you can add here so that's all our portfolio look like but the beauty of this portfolio is every data is configured in salesforce so if i go to salesforce and show you a portfolio record so the data john john doe email designation summary everything is coming to salesforce even the work experiences education and everything along with that it's a configurable app so that you from the experience builder you can 
change the url of linkedin twitter and if you don't want to show anything you can remove the url it will hide the content similarly here if you suppose change your batches and you have uh, become a triple ranger or tri uh, triple star ranger so you can just come to your builder and select the component and from the right hand side you can update your drill head rank so if i drop click on the drop down there will be all types of rank already configured here scout hiker explorer adventurer triple star four star five star once you select any rank and publish it will update that thing so that's our last project the biggest one let's quickly look at the learning from all these projects so all the projects we're gonna build uh, using experience site and we're gonna use the lwr template that's pretty new and high demand in the market then we will see how to enable the site for a guest user along with that we'll see how to build and expose a lwc component to experience site we learn the layout designing using html we'll see how to build a responsive designing so by responsive designing means are all apps are uh, supporting the mobile viewport so if i come to my uh, portfolio app you can see these are the tabs and tabs are usually not responsive so what we are doing is we are converting the tabs to accordion on a mobile view so if i shrink the view you, you will realize that how the tabs gets converted into accordion you see immediately this become accordion and if i open it again this is all responsive and you can view it on a phone as well so if i shrink it further still it will work fine you see everything is scrollable you can see your work experiences you can see your personal projects all are aligned based on the mobile so that's responsive designing so we are learning a responsive designing as well also we will use uh, standard css variables in the lwc component we'll also explore slds library classes we'll use styling hooks we'll use static resources both in css and javascript we'll learn how to create a forms a basic validation using html we'll use some basic fundamentals like lwc directives we'll use uh, we'll create some reusable components as well we'll see how to write a uh, logics around the specific uh, app and then we'll see how to compose one component inside another component we'll learn parent to child communication as well also we'll learn how to add a music in lwc in our alarm clock app we're going to use a ringtone we'll do a client side api integration so we are going to use a currency api to a client side only then we'll learn server side api integration in our weather app we're going to call apex and apex will further call out a weather api we'll use wire adapters record forms calling apex imperatively then we'll see how to enable the surveys how to add the content to surveys how to publish the surveys also we'll see how to create read update and delete using lwc and apex and many other components we're gonna build uh, like tabs accordions data table cards batches banner etc and many more things you will learn throughout this journey so i hope this course excites you and help you to achieve your goals thank you